Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Max Public Land Hunting Outdoors. You know, I do hunting, it's a hunting channel, but I also do radio stuff, a little bit of prepping stuff. I'm kind of a mini prepper, getting more and more into it every year. Do gardening stuff, which I just kind of deal with the prepping stuff. But anyway, I've got two generators. I live in North Carolina. We blessed with good weather most of the time, but we can get hurricanes. I've had trees laying down this yard before from hurricanes house got hit by some 70 mile an hour winds a couple years ago they're just finishing up now we do get some ice storms here even though it's fairly warm most of the year here i've got two Honda generators 2200s love them but what if you run out of gas or what if you got those those generators maxed out and you want to run other stuff well i've been looking at a grid doctor 300 it's got a lithium iron phosphate battery in it. I think it's called a LIFEPO 4 battery in it. Um, it's a 300 watt um, battery pack. Comes with a solar cell. I got it from Patriot, my Patriot Supply or Patriot Supply, whatever it is. Um, I'll post some links to that. Maybe they have it on Amazon as well. It's about 500 bucks, but peace of mind. It'll run my CPAP machine all night. I've done that. Yes, I've tried it out. But my big thing I wanted it for was crap hit the fence scenario and my generators are running other stuff. I want to be able to charge stuff, do stuff. Grid Doctor has a chart. They show you what to run. But I want it to run radio, especially two-way radios during the crap hit the fan situation. And I couldn't really figure out how many hours I'm going to get uh, transmitting and receiving talked to them at grid doctor and they gave me a little bit of information but what they gave me the grid doctor actually does a lot longer than what they told me so i went on and bought it i'm going to show it to you right now um it takes six to eight hours to charge by the bright sun we have here most time in north carolina or on the house it takes 10 hours to charge in a car so i probably will never charge it with a car probably use a solar panel or use the house to charge it Definitely crap hit the fan scenario. You're going to be charging it with the solar panel. Um, but anyway, let's show it to you. It's right here. I'm going to turn it on. It's almost charged. I've been using it a little bit today. It's showing a 99% charge. Run 99 hours. Showing the watts it's pulling right now. Now let us show you the watts it's taking out. Like on a radio, you're transmitting or you're receiving. Or it'll show the watts putting in. Right here is a, like a cigarette lighter adapter, car adapter. There's a DC out. You got five millimeter plugs for that. I'll show you that. That's the input to put your solar panel or your AC adapter into it. You got your USBs there, your other ports there for your uh, cords, your 120 volt um, connections there. You have to turn the DC on or turn it off as well. Once you turn that on, you still got to turn the DC or AC on. Uh, but anyway, it's a nice unit. I think it weighs nine or 10 pounds. I'm gonna show you the solar panel. This is the solar panel. I'm not gonna show you how to hook it up. It comes with a five mirror plug. You plug it to the input. It's folded up into four sections. Really nice, really handy. It weighs about nine or 10 pounds as well. So I'm gonna show you right now what it comes with. It comes with this cigarette lighter adapter. Whereas this one, you plug something like, I've got walkie-talkies that have the adapters you plug into the car, you plug those into there. But this came with it. Two other cords came with it. This came with it, you put it into your input and hook one of these up to your solar panel. This came with it to hook up another solar panel, but I only have the one solar panel. And then, and right there, it's just a wall charger. Got, I think, the five millimeter plug. And so any of the solar panels or the wall adapter for the 120 volts out of the house, you put it into the input right there. Output's gonna be here, 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 and here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. You got nine outputs on this thing. So anyway, let's get back to what I wanted this for. Run my CPAP machine, run two-way radios. Big thing I wanted it for, other than the crap hit the fan situation, 
is I like testing two-way radios. You look at my channels, I take walkie-talkies miles out from the house, test them. I can take my other radios now and take them miles out from the house, put a dipole antenna up in the tree, and I can run it with these. So that's one of the reasons I got it for. That was a plus on it. So what we're going to do now in this video right here is we're going to test two radios to see how long I can transmit and receive on them, see if they actually run the radios. Now this video right here, I'm going to name video one. Other videos down the line, I'm going to be video two, like what will Grid Doctor run video two? What will Grid Doctor run video three? Now there's a list that Grid Doctor has that shows you what it will run, but like I said, it doesn't list really two-way radios, the hours. So this is going to be for things they don't list. I'm not going to show you about a CPAP machine because they show it will run at eight hours. We're going to do radios, battery chargers, all kinds of things like that. So anyway, let's see how long this will run. Two radios I got. One's a medium power radio, one's a high power radio. So let's go to that. Okay, guys, we're going to hook up a Radio Oddity CB900 Pro. This radio puts out dead keen about 8, 9 watts, swings to about 14 or more. So turn this on, you hold it, 100% charge, get the DC on, you don't really hold it, you just barely touch it. That's on. Now we're going to turn it to the radio, turn it on. You can hear it works good. Everything works. We're going to transmit on it. We're going to transmit on it. I'm going to turn it back to the grid doctor. As you can see, I've got the, I've got the radio turned down so you can hear me talk. See, I got 100%. It's saying that that radio is pulling 3 watts on receive. 70 hours of receive time. I'm going to transmit audio. Audio. Showing 13 hours I can transmit. And it's pulling, what, 25 watts? Audio, audio, right there. So it's going to run a uh, radiotity 14 watt transmit power, good for audio, audio, 13, 14 hours and receiving, it's over 70 hours. So it's going to run that radio fine. I'm going to show you what this radio actually puts out so you know what it's doing. Audio. Audio. You can see right there it's dead key in 9 watts. I actually got the 16 watts. So that's really good. So Grid Doctor runs it really fine. Let's go to a more powerful radio. Alright everyone, I've got this Grid Doctor 300 hooked up to a Galaxy 55 DXHP. It's a high power radio. Puts out over 50 watts of power. So let's see what the difference is going to be and what even run that using this plug if it won't i could put it into a power adapter into here uh but let's see if this will run it let me turn it on you can hear it coming all right on so i'm going to turn the sound down you can see it's pulling two watts the other day it was pulling three watts but pulling two to three watts to transmit audio Audio. Audio. So four to six hours on transmit. That's still pretty good. You're not going to trans that much, transmit that much in a crap hit the fan situation. Audio. It's pulling 51 watts from the grid doctor. It's right there showing 78 hours it will receive, 74 hours. So somewhere over 70 hours. That's actually pretty good. Audio. 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 So four to six hours on transmitting. That's actually pretty good. Alright, this is the radio that's running. A 50 plus uh, watt output radio. Let's go to the watt meter and we'll show you what the grid doctor is allowing it to do. Ten watts dead key audio audio 
You see right there it's outputting over 52 watts and the grid doctor's handling it fine. Okay, as you can see, that Radio Oddity CB900 Pro, I did a video on that recently. That's a really good radio for the money. I'll put a link to that in the description. It puts out nine or 10 watts dead key in, swings up to 14 or 15 watts. It will receive, it's drawing three watts receive. If you saw on the video I just showed right there, and when you transmit, it's drawing about 25 watts, if I remember right. So it receive, just listen, you can listen for 70 hours on this thing. Transmitting, I think it was 14 hours or more. Um, so it's got plenty, plenty of power. I mean, you could go on a field day. If you're a ham guy, you go field day and use this pretty much all day because you're probably transmitting 15 minutes out of the hour. So this thing's gonna last you all day on a, like a ham fest field day where you're trying to make contacts, you go out on a mountain, set up your antenna, yada, yada, all that stuff. Now the, the Galaxy DX 55 HP, that's a really good 10 meter, 11 meter radio. It did keys about 10 watts, swings to over 50 watts. I was kind of unsure when I bought this thing. That's one thing I, I waited a week or two for, I bought this grid doctor. I was skeptical would it run it. It runs it perfect. If I remember right, I didn't write it down. For one first time I hooked it up, it was receiving, same as the other one, three watts received, 70 plus hours. I hooked it up on this video here that I've showed you. It was two watts received, so 70 plus hours. Uh, it was drawing 50 watts or more off of this um, for four to six hours. It fluctuated a little bit, so you got plenty of time to transmit, even for a high powered radio. Now you get an 80, 90 watt radio, obviously, and I don't, I've got one of those coming. I got an 80 or 90 watt radio coming to me that I'll put a video out on that with this grid doctor. You're gonna run an 80, 90 watt ham CB radio for two or three hours, which is still good. It's still really good. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this video. Like I said, I'm gonna do some more videos on what will this thing run. I'm gonna see if I can charge a trolling motor battery, a boat battery, with another 12 volt battery to run things with, see if I can charge it. Maybe I'll have to plug my car charger into it. Um, I've got a battery, a Rayovac battery thing that you can put 10 alkaline, um, you can put 10 rechargeable AA batteries in it, you can put C batteries in it, D batteries in it, recharge those lithium rechargeable batteries or nickel cadmium batteries. We'll see how long it takes to charge that. I've got, um, a battery operated chainsaw, a battery operated mower, a battery operated blower from steel that take batteries. We're going to do a video, see how long those take to charge. So I'm going to, like I said, do various videos, label them one, two, three, down the line. So do me a favor, guys, leave some comments. Let me know if you like this, you don't like it, leave some feedback. Check out a playlist I got right here. I'll pick one, hit the subscribe button right there, and I appreciate it, guys. So anyway, I'll see you.